Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we've got another, well, a episode of Star Chaser. This is going to be a spooky one shot for Halloween. Um, so we'll be playing different characters, but pretty much the same setting, if I understand that correctly, for uh, yes. Star Chaser. We are, we are three months before the events of current of our, Star Chaser. Uh, our campaign. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can see by the character names here, we're playing different characters, so that'll be pretty fun. Um, I'll be playing Dr. Alyssa Pulaski. Um, she's, uh, how did I put it before? Uh, her personality is blunt, but her scalpels are sharp. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be... Uh, jumping into this in just a moment uh, real quick though if you do want to impact the story yourself if you want to get involved uh, change things a little bit um, definitely feel free to do so by uh, the options down in the bottom right hand corner um, which should be the star chaser options but they're not uh, yes they are so uh, for one dollar donation you can add plus five luck to a character uh, for two dollars you can gift someone a free reroll uh, for $3, you can give a player or the GM a switch, uh, which is pretty fun. It basically means, um, you know, to, to use a classic D&D example, if your bard is going to seduce the barmaid, um, you can use the switch to say, uh, hey, no, don't oh, seduce you the barmaid, you're going to do something else. You'll do a different action. Um, for uh, $5, you can, um, actually, that supposed to say you can give them an auto success not a plus 10 um but uh yeah it's an auto success uh ten dollars uh you can give somebody a sensu bean which is half their uh their hp or in this case i think uh sanity is 30 sanity usually okay 30 and sanity. In this one shot you start with 30 sanity so yeah it's as i say it's a little bit different than a normal campaign um because for 15 dollars yeah for 15 dollars you can introduce a complication as long as it is setting appropriate and appropriate in general, um, you can throw in any sort of monkey wrench that you want in either the character's plans or um, into the GM's plans if you if you feel like it. Hey, Em, good to see you. I, I, um, I can think of plenty of complications. <laughs> yeah. And then for $25, if you're really attached to a character, you really want to be uh, super generous or you just really don't want to see that character die, um, you can gift them a phoenix down, which means if they would die, uh, they go to one HP instead. Or in this case, it may be more like sanity, as as that is a more uh, important stat than health, uh, generally. Um, but yeah, that covers the the introductions to how you can get involved and everything. So let's go around and introduce our players, and then we'll jump right in. So I've already talked about myself. I'll pass it on to Patrick. Hi, I'm Patrick. Um... Attack Trick Online. You can call me Pat or Trick or whatever you'd like. Um, I'm happy to be here playing. It's I'm going to be playing a uh, young man named Victor tonight. He's in his late 20s, Hello and there. he's definitely just definitely just helps, goes around and recovers lost ships and all of that kind of thing. It is totally above board and does not pocket everything he can. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So. We are going to start you on the ship going towards the derelict spaceship. And you are being briefed by Special Agent Harold Whitehall. Oh boy. <laughs> also, I so, have to say, right now, with the cat in your lap, petting the cat, you, you <laughs> definitely got like the evil villain thing going on now. Especially how you've been hinting at how terrifying yeah. this one-shot's gonna be. <laughs> yes. It, it, Special Agent Harold Whitehall is is there to inform you with, with, the, utmost, with the utmost interest. So, this play is going to... They all went insane and we killed each other, and we have to recover. Ah, this object. This object should not be looked at, should not be thought about, should not, you should not open the package for any reason. Is that clear? So, um, 
uh, this is me in character now. Uh, so, what you're saying is we should immediately look at the package. That is exactly the opposite of what I'm saying. I'm sure you're smart enough to know that. Hmm. So we just we just peek at it then. No, no. Everyone. So on I should get someone has gone else insane. to look. So I should get someone else to look at it and then run tests on them to find out what happened. Right. It sounds like not looking at the box drives you insane. Is that was that what you said? That is what I heard. <laughs> Harold frustrated and he's like, no, that is exactly what drives you insane. And the last person on the ship went insane, making sure the package was packaged properly. Is that clear? Oh yes. Oh we yes, yes, very very clear. I, I get it now. You Thank you. Avoid this person at all costs. Because the last communication from them, they did not sound very friendly at all. So they're not all dead then? No. Did I say they were all dead? I, I might have misheard. It's So looking at the box keeps you alive then? No, you don't look in the package. It's... <laughs> It's securely packaged so that you don't go insane. Right, right. Okay, I think I get it now. So so everyone else on the ship is insane, and we need to not look at the package so that we don't go insane, and I'm there because I'm a doctor and I need to treat the insane people. Perfect. Someone gets it. Oh, we're recovering Someone people. Someone gets it. Are we getting people or this box? The you have been hired to recover the box. You okay. have been you have been advised not to touch anything but the box. You are not allowed to look in the box. You are not allowed to to take the packaging off the box. You are not allowed to do anything but re, but get the box back to this ship we are so on right now. So there's packaging around the box? Yes. So the box is wrapped and then there's something inside of the box as well? Yes. Do we know do we know which do we know which layer in there is the problem layer? The final layer is the problem layer. However, you should not get past the first layer. Okay. Is everybody clear? Right. So we open the packaging and look at the box but not the wrapper. Right, but we don't no. open the but we don't open the other smaller box that's in that box. It's just boxes all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. I get it. I get it. Yes, yes. This is not our this is not our first job. <laughs> you have to find joy in the simple things in life. You see, Harold is not amused. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> We'll wait to look at it together, Harold. Don't worry. <laughs> and then I will recover the box because you two will kill each other. Perfect. Um, did you mean to say that part out loud? What part? Aha. Uh -huh. You dock. <laughs> and Harold <laughs> right. walks off. Well, that that seems um, perfectly did just, normal. <laughs> did he just read the stage whisper out loud? That's what it felt like. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Um. All right. Well. So so we're docked with the the derelict ship now. Yes. Yes. Well, I suppose is, the best... Oh, by the way, I, I was supposed to say this earlier. This is the SS Star Chaser. Oh, uh, nice. It's the name of the thing. 
Yes. The SS Star Chaser. You know, that sounds like it'd be a great name for, like, a show or something. Mm. I feel yeah, like it would never work. No. It was... I feel if they were going to do a show about this, I feel like it would be called Box in a Box. Some, something with the box. Don't look in the box. It's originally a cargo freighter, but pretty much everyone killed each other. Or at least we're not sure because their vital signs disappeared. And there's only one left, which is the person that we lost contact with last. Hmm. Do we right, think well, this person has the box? Do we know where the box is stored? Or, or is it a needle haystack scenario? Harold pulls out his smartphone. The box is here, and he shows it to you. I don't look. <laughs> uh, Alyssa, Was that a test? Yes. Was that a yes. test? Don't look at the, the box. The box is here on the map. Uh -huh. hmm, I see. Uh, can can you? Uh, Alyssa's gonna pull out her phone. Like, um, yes. Uh, can can you? Um, you know, just uh, email that to me. Should be fine. Tap his phone to your phone. It appears on there. Oh, splendid! I didn't know my phone could do that. Victor. That's amazing. Do you want? Do you have a phone? Yeah, uh, sure. It's so we can we can look at drawings of the box then. It's a map. Okay. Visual Tap. representations of the box are fine. Understood. That's his phone to your phone, so you have the map, and that is where we're going. The oh, signature. Seems... The signature this... is really strong right now, so. We can probably assume that's been activated. Okay, well, this seems simple enough. Um, carry on then. And then uh, Alyssa's going to start following the map without looking behind to see if uh, Victor is following or if Harold's doing anything. She's just barreling forward. <laughs> As you enter the first room, you hear screaming. Oh, that can't be good. Hmm. Can I uh, ascertain where the screaming is coming from or, or spot the source of it? That would be a listen roll. I'm trained in that. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Nice. That's a hard success. So you know exactly you 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 know that it's coming from the vent behind you. Okay, uh, I'm going to pull out my phone, turn the flashlight on, and peek in the vent. <laughs> A cat jumps out. Roll sanity. <laughs> okay. I, I like cats. Oh, look, it's a cat! <laughs> I just saw a cat. <laughs> oh, gosh! Cat, okay. Okay. Um, so what kind of cat is it? It is a, it is a calico cat. And it purrs. I'm going to, um... You still hear screaming. Okay. I'm going to, to pick up the cat and take it with me. And, uh, look through the vent again. Harold, uh, walked in at this point. I wouldn't suggest going in there. They're beyond hope. They're beyond help. Come on, let's go. We've got to get this box and get out. That's, mm. is, is there anything valuable around besides the box, Harold? It's 
This is a cargo ship. There's plenty of valuable things. I am a police a officer. Cat. You're a police officer? Yes. Hmm. This is Special Agent Harold Whitehall with the Earth PD. I'm not sure. You would know that. I, I don't know if that's right, Harold. Well, I mean, don't want to steal stuff this up. around me because that will go into report. We could clear this up uh, easily enough. Let's let just show us your badge, Harold. Harold shows you his badge. Well, there you go. See, he's a police officer. Does it look real? Roll streetwise. Nice. You know that it's real. That's a fake. <laughs> really? I thought it looked rather real to me. It's fine. We won't I tell anyone, Harold. <laughs> Your secret is safe. Harold does the whole <laughs> and then it's like come on let's go well I mean this the is... box is all well and good and everything but I am a doctor so I swore an oath that I must help people that are in need are we and... really going to crawl through the vents well I'm not crawling through the vent but someone should to make sure that there's not, uh, you know, an injured person in there. That cat would probably fit. Well, that's where the cat came I from. I don't much... think the cat would be able to help. Yes, um, so Harold, why don't, why don't you go check it out? I would go through myself, but you see, if I injured my hands, I wouldn't be able to perform medicine and surgery and the like, so I can't risk myself going in there. Harold sighs deeply and says, that is not what I've been hired to do. I've hired, they hired you to help me. Let's go get the box. Very well, then, but I'm putting it in my report that you abandoned people that needed help. Pretty sure that's not going to look too good for your police chief, Captain, sir, person. There's only one life sign on, on, these, on this map. As Isn't long as you avoid that, we'll be fine. Isn't this the cutest cat? <laughs> She's holding right. it out. <laughs> Is the cat not on your map? Is it? I mean, that should show up, shouldn't it? Uh, I don't know why it doesn't show up. Honestly, I don't get paid enough for this. He's got a defective map. <laughs> oh, maybe it's only As... calibrated to human <laughs> life signs. Yeah. As oh you look this around, be swarming in cats. As you look up, I would like everybody to roll spot hidden right now. <laughs> <laughs> I even have Harold little spot to be in the back train. Oh no! Oh god. Ooh, Harold. Harold rolled Harold rolled a 19! Nice. Gosh. Uh Victor, what did you roll? Uh 44, so a normal success. Yeah, Harold rolled a normal success as well. So Harold and Victor. As, as they look around, they see just the worst blood and gore everywhere. Like, there's, there's dead bodies in the corner. There's slime on the wall. And yeah, everybody should roll sanity. Oh, except, for, <laughs> except for Dr. Elisa. Who apparently does not notice. I, I'm too busy. Much. Can I'm I too busy can I point it out? To her? <laughs> Who's a cute cat? Who's a cute yeah, cat? You, you are. You can point it out to the doctor, and the doctor will also rule sanity. Perfect. <laughs> doc, doc, is this slime? Who, who I don't know. Slime, I'm too busy doc. looking at this cat. <laughs> Victor, roll a d6. Ooh. 
Ooh, yeah. The hefty doctor, five. <laughs> the doctor also rolls a d6. Yeah, you lose five sanity. And let's let's roll for Harold. Let's roll for. I will actually roll for Harold because I I I I love this. And Harold will roll a d6. It's going great. As Harold loses two sanity. Poor Harold. This is great so far. He's he's really happy with the team he picked out for this one. <laughs> yep. Uh, question though, could I roll medicine instead of sanity to uh, to see how I deal with that being a doctor and having dealt with dead bodies and such? You can roll medicine to see to see how much of this you. You can roll medicine to see if you know how these people died and such. <laughs> <laughs> that will not take the place of Jeez. um yeah you don't wow. know you don't know how these I people hate roll die. 20s uh, dice roller <laughs> you don't know how these people die you I don't have, know I have a 75 have a, in medicine you have, you have a vague feeling that they probably killed each other I think they died because they lost all their blood. I'm assuming that's what's all over the walls. Right. I'm and sorry, I'm very distracted by this adorable cat! And, uh, yeah. This slime is probably pretty important to keeping him alive, right, Doc? You don't usually see it on the outside. Ugh. Um, it's... I mean... Oh, I, I, I don't I'm sorry, want... I can't pay attention to the slime. This, this cat is too cute. Okay. <laughs> I... I don't want to think about it. Let's just go to the next room. <sighs> As you go to the next room, you see in the corner, well, it's called spot hidden. Oh gosh, spot hidden. Okay, fail, success. <laughs> success. Nice. Nice, you both just barely rolled a success. We all rolled right in the same range there. <laughs> yeah. So, Harold does not see this, but you both do. In the corner, you will, you, you both, you both see the source of the screaming. It is a person who is gravely injured. What do you do? Uh, I think that one's still up, alive, Doc. Run up to them and try to help them. <clears throat> uh, where's my first aid? First aid! Ooh, dang. Yes. Extremes! Yes, that's a one to nine. You can add a point to first aid. Nice. Yeah, add a point to first aid. I first aided them so hard that they're healthy. Or yes. something. I don't know what happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they, oh yeah, Alyssa's gonna run they, over and, and patch them up and check them out. Yeah. You you have you have your first aid supplies on you. More than I do. Me. Yes. So the person's like Thank you, thank you. They killed so many people they they the oh oh the just just horrible it was a well, massacre who, okay okay Cal calm down <laughs> who is they and and how did they go about killing these people the i assume it involves losing blood the darkness they they take over your mind and you can't see. Oh, it's horrible. All you see is red. And all you want to do is stab. Hmm, okay. So. He pulls out a knife. OK, 
Okay, let's take that. <laughs> roll a roll a power <laughs> roll. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> as as he cuts you Jeez. right in the gut. Uh, you roll a d6 to see how much damage they do. A d6? Yeah. Jeez. Or no, no, a d4. Sorry. You're right. A d4. The only reason I know that is because I have a knife as well. <laughs> Two. Okay. Harold is going to roll power... And removes the knife from the, tackles them, removes the knife from their hand. And he's like, I told you to avoid people. And he does, what does he do? He does mind wipe. On us or the first aid person? <laughs> the, the person you just first aided. Okay. Doesn't that cost and him sanity to do that? <laughs> no. It only costs him sanity if he fails. Okay. So, my... Yeah, Patrick will know this because he plays the other, the other person usually. But yes, you spend points, and it's 20 points to remove, to remove three days. But he's going to spend how many points is it? Oh God! Please. Don't let me scroll very much. <laughs> it is. My boy. It is nine points to remove one to three hours, so nine points to, to remove three three hours. And it is how many points to remove a day? Okay, 16 points to remove a day. Harold is going to spend 16 points to remove an entire day. 16 points of what? Of magic. Ah, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, Dr. Pulaski, not knowing how any of that really works, because she's not uh, psychic as far as she or I know. And he um, and, and the person crumples to a heap and has a massive headache. And he stares at you. Where am I? What's what? Where's the box? Have, before, have we seen uh, him do this before? Before. Like, have we worked mm. with Harold before? You would not know what Harold just did. Because oh, yeah, so, he probably would have mind wiped us afterwards. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, before before he even does that, like, as soon as he takes the knife, uh, Dr. Pulaski is going to sedate the guy. So, like, probably while he's being mind wiped, she's going to, like, right in the neck with the syringe. Nighty night. Oh, then he, then he wouldn't have to roll for, for mind wipe if the person is unconscious. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, she wow. has no idea what he's doing, so she's just gonna knock him out probably like mid mind wipe. <laughs> oh wow. Perfect. Perfect. I, I can roll medicine for that if you'd like. That way I'll probably uh, yes. kill the guy roll with my rolls tonight. Roll medicine to see if you stab him in the right place. Uh, where's my medicine? There it is. Nice. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yes. You expertly sedate. Knock him out so hard. <laughs> yes. You put the perfect amount, and he and he does not have an overdose. Yay. <laughs> and he has a massive headache, or he would if he was conscious. <laughs> nope. He is he is out for uh, probably twelve hours. And Harold reiterates, I told you to avoid anyone you see, and this is why. 
Now, yes. Can we please continue on? Oh yeah. Oh, also, everybody will Saturday. While this while this has been happening, could I have been looking around the room to see if anything valuable is sitting around while they were distracted? You you can do that. Yes. Would that be a search? Maybe. That would be. That'd be. That'd be yes. That would be a search. That would be either a search. Nice. Yes. Yes, but that's you don't get to add a point to it because it's a ten. It's <laughs> right. It's right above what you needed to roll. If it was a nine. <laughs> can I spend a luck and then add a point to search? Yes. Yes, yeah. you can actually. I'll do that. Nice. <laughs> you um, can actually, and just like. Dr. Pulaski can spend four lot to add a point to medicine. I'm good. Um, <laughs> so uh, I would like to have uh, Alyssa patch herself up from the cut. Is that possible? Roll medicine. Okay. Um, could I argue first aid in this case? You can argue first aid, yes. Okay, because that is slightly, slightly better. Nice. You pat yourself up real good. You're back to full health. Woot. Um, and she'll well, try you're to. You're actually back to. How much... Yeah, you only lost two points. You're back to full health. Okay. It's um... enough to heal six points. Awesome. So she'll she'll do that and then like just try to scoot uh stabby McStabber pants uh over into like a hidden corner or just somewhere where he hopefully won't get more injured or killed <laughs> before moving on. Harold pulls out <laughs> handcuffs and is like well since we did in fact restrain him we can bring him back to the ship for extra brownie points Ugh. oh i like brownies brownies are fantastic and so uh he rolls power yep just over the shoulder like a sack of potatoes yes thank you harold just um you know put him in the the ship's Sick bay, it'll he'll be fine. He'll be out for at least twelve hours. Oh, he'll be out for longer than that. I've done <laughs> this before. Yes, well, I mean, I'm I'm just the doctor. What do I know? What do you know? That's what I just asked you. I swear, <laughs> Victor. Sometimes talking to him, it's like talking to a parrot. Yep, sure. It, did, did I? You see me like rummaging through things in this room. <laughs> oh, by the way, let's go back to Victor's like... roll. <laughs> let's uh, let's go back to Victor's roll. You see, you see in this room, you see. Uh, first of all, you you see gold that they were transporting. You see silver that they were transporting. But you you see very little that you could actually put on your person without being noticed. Dang. However, what you do see is very, very valuable diamonds. Ooh. Can I, like, clumsily knock a box or knock the container of diamonds over and try and sleight of hand some into my pocket? <laughs> you can. Roll power, then sleight of hand. Do you ha are you trained inside of him? I am. Ooh, yeah, that's a that's a success. Extra and you can add a point to slide of hand. <laughs> you added point to slide of hand. Yeah. Nice. So 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 he knocks the box over. You don't hear him knock the box over, and you sure as hell don't hear him pocket the diamonds. Oh, yeah. That. That guy. You don't, like you you said, don't see, you don't hear anything. It's like talking to a brick wall with that guy, like you were saying, Doc. <laughs> yes, it's just... I don't know. 
Sometimes I wonder why I take these jobs. Harold says, because we're paying you obscene amounts of money. Well, I, I'm a doctor. I already make obscene amounts of money. Right. It seems odd to recruit a doctor for a mission where you think everyone's already dead and we're not rescuing anyone. <laughs> well, I suppose if you're worried about your own personal health, I mean, I guess. it makes sense to have... You're here, here to case... make sure we don't die. Or more specifically, so I don't die. I don't care about Victor. Rude. That was quite rude, wasn't it? <laughs> it's fine. He's just... He's just itching to look at that box. It's I won't hold it against him. <laughs> yes, well, I suppose. I mean, uh, technically, I did assist him not being, you know, nearly killed because I was stabbed rather than Harold. So, I mean, I feel like I'm pulling my weight. Oh yeah. Harold, I do not plan on getting stabbed for you. For the record. <laughs> I should have I should have done music for this, but I didn't, because <laughs> I forgot. Because <laughs> um, I was doing so many other things for this, I did not. Do music. That's a good. That's a good idea. Uh, I actually have a pretty good uh, cover I could put, but then you you two won't be able to hear. Let me. Uh, the rolls are going to be a little bit covered up for a sec while I do this. Uh, there we go. Continue. That's, that's perfect. Oh, did you find some? Yes, I found the perfect thing. Oh, perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Because that's that's the thing that I forgot to include. Yes, you do hear that. That faint alarm bell. As well. Intermittently. Okay. So you go back to the ship, and then you walk back to where you were. Oh no, Aly Alyssa doesn't go back to the ship. She just stays there in the room, waiting for Harold to do the heavy lifting. Yeah. Does assume... Victor go back to the ship, ex escorting Harold? I assumed I was scooping diamonds at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you both are talking about Harold, and and Harold spends the minute and a half putting the putting the person in the car in, in the sick bay and rejoins you we i at least on my end i was definitely talking loud enough for harold to hear yeah <laughs> so and harold was talking so loud we were, enough for you to hear just so he knew we were giving him the business <laughs> <laughs> and uh Alyssa doesn't really care if harold overheard her or not so she's just using her normal volume which is somewhat loud to begin with she's not a quiet person very well then um now that you've taken care of that um where are you next your map's not very detailed the computer room is next all right um Sure, there won't be any murderous people in the computer room. Let's hope not. So, what? Is that the blip that was showing up on a, as alive on your map? I feel like your map's are missing a lot of alive things on this ship. <laughs> <laughs> Harold, che Harold checks the map again. Seems to be working now. There's no alive things besides the map, besides the cat. You, me, and Alyssa. And the man oh, in sick yeah. bay, right? And he's not sh he's not on the ship. Oh, right, right. He's not on the okay. ship. Yes. So it's good to know that whatever's making that screaming noise is, is for sure not alive. I, I feel very was... comforted. I believe that was the screaming. Right, you feel you more com but you feel more comfortable that whatever screaming he, isn't alive. He, sha he shakes he shakes the device, which is not his phone. Again, taps it a little. Oh, well, we might we might have a problem. 
Hmm. Might we? Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on? I just did, and that's why is we it have plugged a in? Yes, it. We, that's anyway. When, when was the last we time have you updated the drivers? Here. There are a total of let's see, twenty other life forms that I don't want to mess with. Can we? Oh, good. So but there's you... between zero and twenty. No, there's twenty. It's working now. That feels like twenty seems like a lot of cats for one ship. That is, but... though, that would be an amazing ship. Twenty cats on one ship—that would be fantastic. It'd be, they'd be so cute. It uh, would be great. Why were they transporting uh... cats with the box? I don't know why they had a cat Maybe it's... on board. This is supposed to be a freighter. Maybe it's an Egyptian box? The, the ancient Egyptians were all about cats. Maybe it has something to do with that? Uh, but yes, yeah, so Harold unplugs his device from the computer, which is what he got his updated information from. <laughs> and he's like, we need to hurry because this is just not good at all. We need to hurry. Right. What's the... This way. Okay. Well, after and... you. Yeah. Melissa will follow behind Harold. Like, yes. a good four or five steps behind Harold. <laughs> as you... As you go really fast, I want everybody to roll... Uh, spot heading, except for Harold, who is I'm not good at that one. looking and just running. He's just not looking. <laughs> He's <laughs> leading the way, but not looking anywhere. Uh, I, uh, I can only roll 80 to 100 or 0 to 15. Nothing in between. So, so Victor, you, you, as you're running... See one of these entities that appeared on Harold's device, and it seems quite scaly. <laughs> <laughs> do you point this out to everybody, or do you just keep running? Um, is it like, I guess, in what position do I see a scaly creature? <laughs> like, standing it's... watching us, or dead, or... Are there any glowing fruit loops it's, around? <laughs> so, it's trying to stealthily follow you, but you saw it. <laughs> can I? Can I just turn? Oh, am I dumb enough to do that? Sorry. What's? Okay, I think I would be smart enough to not just automatically shoot it and attract everything. <laughs> so it's. <laughs> I'll um. I think I'm right behind Alyssa, so I'll whisper. Um, ah, there's, there's a lither, there's a lizard person trying to follow us. <laughs> there's a what? <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to tell you not to freak out when I said that. Got it. We'll we'll correct that in the future. <laughs> I want you both to roll sad. <laughs> Victor, did you get into my drugs? Not today. Well, not Eliza, because Eliza hasn't seen it yet. Okay. Just, just Victor. <laughs> so you're saying you're not high right now? Victor rolled a hard Is that Victor's roll? Yep. Okay, that's a hard success. Yeah, you gain one point of sanity. Ooh. Yay. Nice. Oh yeah, that's another house rule that I did not include. But yes, if you roll tw if you roll twenty to ten, you gain one sanity. If you roll uh, zero to nine, you gain t you gain uh, five sanity. Right. Nice. I mean, so don't don't turn around and stare at it. It thinks it's following us, and it thinks it's doing a pretty sneaky job. But there's a humanoid, scaly-looking thing following us. Right. 
All right, well, uh, what would you suggest we do about <clears throat> this um, peculiar as you, thing? As what? you two are talking, you have lost sight of Harold. Oh, good, Harold's gone. I mean, oh no, where did Harold go? <laughs> Harold only gave us the old map, didn't he? He never gave us the updated one. <laughs> oh, no, he did not. <laughs> I think you're right. Um, let's see. Maybe I can do something about this. Harold is not the, is not the most unabrasive person. Um, Should we try there, and... Is there the equivalent of Wi-Fi on the ship? Yes, you have Harold's number because you, because he tapped your phone with his. Okay, I would like to pull out my fancy laptop, hook it up with my smartphone, and try to update the map by connecting to uh, the program. That would be that would be first of all computer operation. Well, actually, that would just be computer operation. And you do just that. Thanks. You connect your phone to his phone. And you update the map on, on your laptop with the information from his, well, not his phone, his device. Oh, perfect. Here we go. I, I, I've updated it. You know, it's really funny. They always told me uh, I, instead of being a doctor, I should have gone into IT. But um, I don't know. I prefer being a doctor. Has, has Alyssa just kind of like set up on the floor with her computer doing this? Yep. <laughs> oh, yes. And you are being stopped. <laughs> Like after I just told you a lizard person was following us. Yep, but um, but this is the new task, so that's all she's yep. focusing on. <laughs> um, it's I've I've taken a couple more steps to like try and see if I can figure out where Vic, where um, Harold has gone. I would, I would like to I would like Victor to roll spot hidden. Because yeah. I'm like, it's if we have Harold's number, I think I'm just gonna call him and. Yeah. It's, I would like Victor to roll spot hidden. Yep. Where is that? There we are. There we go. You now see five. <laughs> Do I see these blips uh, on the map closer to us? Yes, you would. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, Walking time. <laughs> Victor starts, Victor starts and, leaving. <laughs> and uh, Alyssa would see where Harold is on the map. Okay, uh, she'll quickly and you would pack see, up and her... And you would see that Harold has two to his left and right. <laughs> oh, lovely. Uh, Harold has friends as well. Um, she's going to pack up her laptop very quickly and shuffle off after Victor. <laughs> Does... Are you running? <laughs> Victor took Are like you running, two... stealthing, or what? I think I'm running, but I didn't look at where Harold was. So I'm in front, but don't know which way we're going. Nice, Does Vic... power. Does Victor ask where to go? No, he just started Perfect. running. Because I'm just following Victor and running. When, yeah. when lizard well, people power increase... Power to see how fast you're running. Oh, Victor's running fast, and, uh, and Alyssa, you tripped, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you've lost sight of Victor now. When, when the number of visible lizard people quintupled, <laughs> I was out of there. <laughs> um, you you not help. only run, you sprint, and Alyssa, you, you trip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yes, uh, so, uh, Pat, Victor, I would like you to roll sanity as well. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Why am I always the one that finds the lizard people? That's <laughs> my signature move. Yes. You get to add five points to sanity. Nice. I am more sane now than when I got on this ship. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yeah, because Alyssa's you started gonna call out. You started like, at 50, oh. now you're at 51. Yeah. A little help here? 
Do uh, you she... stop and go back for Alyssa, or do you keep running? She'll be fine. She's a doctor. <laughs> you, you run straight into Harold. That's I was. It's I think I'm like tapping my phone to try and get Harold on the phone as I run into him. Yes, you run straight into Harold, and Harold, and Harold, is currently looking very jumpy. Have you seen them? The, the lizard people? Yes. Okay, good. I was hoping that was your question. Because if not, there's also lizard people. <laughs> they... And... I mean, there were all... five of them right behind us. Um, and I think now I'm realizing Alyssa is not right behind me. Harold's like... Okay, the box is in this direction. Let's run. And um, uh, Harold just... rolls, rolls, and Harold rolls power. Yeah, yeah. Harold, Harold is trained. So Harold is. Harold grabs you, throws you over his shoulder, and starts running. Throws me over his shoulder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, because his only goal is to get is to get the thing and get out. As he does, he's going to shoot one of them. I was, if if I'm not having to run, I guess I can help shoot things as I'm thrown over Harold's shoulder. Harold, Harold, Harold shoots one and then motions. He's got a 90 in firearms. Nice. <laughs> and he... <laughs> she, come on, Harold. <laughs> wow. So, Harold, his gun jams, but you, but he points out the four that are, that are quickly encroaching upon you. Can I also shoot? <laughs> yes, you can. Roll your firearm damage. Nice. Damage five, yeah. You took a chunk out of it. It's slower, but it's still going after you. It's oh. pissed now. Next, next time, am I able to just like roll straight from the weapon instead of rolling from firearms? Yes, I would like oh. you to roll two, two more times if you want to shoot more, two more times. Sure. To shoot the other two. Yeah. Okay. And oh. you hit, you hit one. <laughs> Let's make that are you, a success. Are you shooting the same one or are you shooting different ones? Um, if that one is getting faster and coming at us, the same one. So you, so you get it to half health now. So it is no longer coming at you, and the others are helping it. Like they've kind of stopped and are tending to him or to it. No, no. One of them is is doing that. One of them is pulling out uh excuse me. Uh some medical okay. Some spray and spraying it. The other the other is is holding it down while while the other one does that. And one is still gaining on you. <laughs> I am going to have Harold roll a power roll. Oh okay. <laughs> so, yeah. As 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 the one that was gaining on you is gaining on you, it is no longer gaining on you. In fact, Harold is going to roll project thoughts. That's hard success. And uh Professor uh, Dr. Alyssa, you hear yes. in your mind, we're almost at the box. Secure our escape. Uh, so Alyssa's going to be like, um, in her head is going, hello, hello, is, is this thing on? I don't know how this thing works, but um, whoever this is, how exactly would you suggest I, the doctor, 
do such a thing? Get back to the ship. Make sure that they don't get in. Right. Run. The doctor. I, I'm going to, as the doctor, stave off these strange lizard people. Okay. I'm. This is going in my report. Up to you. Uh, Alyssa's going Harold to. Harold says as he, as he pads and continues running, to the box. Um, what I'd like to do is, uh, Alyssa, have Alyssa pick herself up, and does she notice like a control room or anything like that, on yes, the the computer room, Perfect. where Harold updated his device. Uh, I would like to go there. You can go there. Okay. Roll spot hidden. When you get there. What the hell, doctor? (laughs) You see no one. In fact, one of the lizard people runs up behind you and... I'm rolling physical dice now. (laughs) That's a 95... Yeah, yeah. You you see a claw come right by your face, but it does not hit you. Roll sanity. Sanity, huh? How do I roll sanity again? It's a D100, uh, but what am I going the, for? The number to beat is 47. So I need uh, lower than 47 or higher than 47? Yeah, lower. Okay. That is an 82. Roll a d6. <laughs> See how much sanity you lose. Three. Oh, wait, 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 where is the hard, hard, okay, that's, that's a 92. Okay. Uh, what did you roll? A three. No, for sanity, was it? 82. Okay, so it's below 92. Yes. Okay, good. You're not rolling on the fun table all right so you you rolled three so you lose three sanity yes um now that i know it's there uh i would like to uh (laughs) stab it okay or if I'm in a spot where I could, you know, like duck into the computer room and shut the door, uh, I'm not sure how, like, what the situation is there. Ideally, I would like to not engage it. I would like to uh, lock it out of the control room, but I don't know. How I was that about to work. ask, are you sure? <laughs> but yes, you can roll power to see <laughs> to see how fast you get away from this. All right. The number you're looking for is 50 or below. And you're looking for... Oh, thank goodness, 14. So that is an extreme success. So you... Yeah, you... You get in the door and you shut it. And you lock it. And you... And... The creature just is banging on the door. Fantastic. Twenty seven. That's not extreme success. You only see one in this room. There's one in the room with me. Yeah. Great. (laughs) It does not see you yet. Roll. uh, what, What is it? Oh, let's see. Anything you have, you don't you don't have stealth, but I'll have you roll stealth anyway, just in case. Um, actually, what I'd like to do is is dope it. I want to knock it out. You can do that with drugs. Roll medicine. <laughs> roll medicine. So that's going to be a seven, ooh, 74. That's a success. So you you dope it up and it 
and it gets drowsy, but it does not fall. In fact, it's going to swipe at you. Okay. That's a five. Uh, dash R, uh, 2D8. So you take nine damage. I don't get a, the opportunity to uh, dodge or anything. Uh, it rolled a, f oh wait, wait, I'm supposed to have you roll, not me, sorry. Uh, roll dex. Okay. I forgot, I'm not supposed to roll. I, I've been doing this wrong slightly. Uh, 80. 80, the number was 60, so you still take, yeah, the 2d8, nine damage. Great, I'm as almost this, dead. As this creature really gets into you, Cool. Ooh. And we pan over to Harold, who is in the room with the box and is grabbing the box. <laughs> Am I still slung over one of his shoulders? <laughs> oh, no, he puts Just me down like... to, gra to grab the box. How, how big is this box? This box is... Okay. So not I mean, huge. No, I'm just saying he could have carried me and the box. <laughs> I'm, I'll remember that. <laughs> Harold is not a friendly person. No. No, he's not. <laughs> no, it's I'm winning. I'm winning him over. I took I took the carrying as a win. That's how I'll and choose to interpret it. Harold will, Harold will roll uh, spot hidden. Oof. Nice. So he... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Harold is not going to roll spot hidden. Harold is going to roll streetwise because this is... Oh, that's data analysis. Wrong button. Streetwise! So Harold clocks all of the ones in this room and is going to roll decks in order to, yeah. And power. And he is what he is going to take the box and start running and yell at Victor to run after him. Yes, I would. So what exactly did he do with all those rolls? So he knows. Oh, I did roll that. OK, that analysis streetwise. He clocks three of these lizard people in this room. He is going to shoot at one and then run. Yes. Yeah, it's He's he going... is the the trained agent, so I will do I will do whatever roles I need to try and imitate him. <laughs> oh, Harold! Harold, you are not... Uh, let's see. Can you roll damage for, for firearms? Because I don't have it on Harold's suit. Uh, sure. If if we... So the, at least the one that I've got is just a D8. Yep. Ooh, ouch. So. Oh yeah, but Harold's number number is 90. That's still a fail. God. So Harold is not hitting any of these. And does not and does no damage as he runs. It's tough. Are you are, are you tough. going to run are you going to shoot or run? I, I'd, I'd like to try and imitate what he did, except it's seeing, Don't. Him, seeing him fail to shoot. I'm gonna say like, toss me your gun. You hold the box. I will follow you and shoot both hands. He tosses you the gun. Roll dex. Yeah, you catch the gun, expertly. Good job. And then I'm gonna try and weave my way through 
whichever of these lizard people are there and just shoot and run. <laughs> I'm going to have you and Harold both roll sanity. Sure. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have you and Harold both Does roll it, sanity. This isn't, this isn't the Harold normal situation. Harold rolls a d6. Uh, yeah. Harold yeah. rolls a d6. I rolled nice. another hard success. <laughs> you you add one to your sanity. <laughs> I was I was made for lizard people. They're calming me. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what Victor was made for. <laughs> Forty eight minus. And now, and now you know why Harold is the way he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh this is this is going better than I thought <laughs> I'm happy <laughs> and you're and you are you running or shooting or both um both with priority on the running roll, now... roll, roll decks to see how well you run and power to see how fast you run because now I've taken Harold's gun, so I want to at least keep up with him. Since yeah. He's unarmed. Yeah, you roll. Uh, you run really good. You oof. don't run very fast. <laughs> and I'm... you shoot. Are you shooting? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Roll firearms <laughs> five times because you can roll firearms five times and, and the time take you to get back to the ship. Oh. <laughs> are you going to? Are you going to find the doctor? Um, did, so Harold's communication, was that all in his head? Did I hear him at all talking to the doctor? No. Well, I left her on the way back, so. Sure. Did you, did, did you update your, your map? Nope, I've got no idea where she is, so I'm just, she, she's smart, I'm sure it's she heard the gunshots and hope she's she could i believe in her so you rolled once i rolled four, once four, so far. four more times oh nice nice uh, nice uh, so, that's so many that's so many 90s <laughs> yeah yeah but you did take out one the Good one job. that you were shooting the one that you were shooting earlier and... The one that was being patched up by his friend. Yes. Oh, God. Now I and... feel bad about that one. <laughs> Just by ha having uh, flashbacks you, to that uh, Rick and Morty episode. Did you see how much damage the one did to Alyssa? <laughs> I mean, I did. <laughs> Victor, Victor feels a little bad. <laughs> awesome. So now we're heading back to Alyssa. You, you're here gunshots. Right outside your door. I could not care less because I'm almost dead. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so you have a slightly groggy lizard person attacking you. Roll death. So. So. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do here because a success on a medicine roll didn't actually succeed in knocking him out. So. Can this be knocked out? Yes. Okay. You uh, you can roll dex. Ooh. That's an extreme success. You you don't add one to your dex, but it is an extreme success. So if you I get spend away from a it, luck, it's... can I add one yes. to my dex? Yes. I'm actually going to do that. And uh, I'm going to flip this thing off as I'm dancing around it. And you can roll medicine to inject it again. Okay. That is a hard success. If it falls to the floor. Awesome. As, am I? Am I uh, alone now? Roll. Actually, you don't have to roll for this. Look at your map. Uh, well, I mean, Look at your map and roll. Does... Uh, yeah, roll spot hidden. Does the map update well in real time? Or... Yeah. 
So you look at this map and you see okay. that you are the only one awake in this room. Fabulous. First thing I'm gonna do is patch myself up. You see you see the lizard person on the map, and you see yourself and no uh, one else. And you also see outside, you see you see a two fast moving blips and about ten others chasing chasing those two fast moving clips. Okay. Right right outside your door. Right outside where you are currently. Okay. And you hear gunshots. Lots and lots of gunshots. That's cool. I'm bleeding out, so I'm gonna patch myself up. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Mother. You can spend ten points. Yeah, screw it. I will. Ten, I will spend ten luck points. And you feel I, I, now is the time to use them. <laughs> yes, you heal. Let's see, what was it? On a regular success, it's two points. On a hard success, it's four. Yeah, yeah. On regular success, it's two points. So you heal two points. <laughs> Great. Now I'm at four instead of two. Oh, by the way, there's you you can check the major wound mark box. Okay. And you could you were supposed to check dying, but now you're not dying. Okay. Um, you can check the major thing... wound and you can roll medicine to heal yourself further. Okay. If you would like. Uh I, I will in a sec. The next thing I'm going to do, now that I've addressed the uh, the immediate threat to my to my body, uh, next thing I'm going to do is what I came in here to do in the first place, which is access the uh, thermostat controls for the ship and crank the temperature down as low as it can possibly go. Nice. Wonderful. Roll computer operation for that. I swear, roll 20 if you screw this up for me. Yes! <laughs> you can spend, uh, your hard success is 13, so you can spend how many points that... Uh, I'm good with a hard success. You can, sp you can spend 10 points to make it an extreme success, and then you will actually do what you wanted to do. It, it takes an extreme success to turn down the thermostat? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Look. I mean, I'm not one to argue with the GM usually, but that seems a little, if you'll pardon the, the pun, extreme. <laughs> you so want I'm just double checking. Does, you want to know what it does on a hard success and what it does on an extreme success. Yes, that would be that would be helpful. So on a hard success, you turn it down, you turn it down way, way, way too low. On an extreme success, you turn it down enough so that the lizard people slow down and you do not die of hypothermia. Well, no, no, I'm wanting to turn it way, 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 way down. Because uh, <laughs> we're, we're hot-blooded and I'm, I'm making the assumption that the lizard people are actually reptilian. <laughs> yes. And therefore cold-blooded. You, you, would, you would be right. But... And but do you, do you not want an extreme success? I, I do not want the extreme success. I, I purposely want to make it like, I want there to be snow in this spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to turn it into a freezer. <laughs> we are going to pan over to Victor because Harold is already <laughs> at spaceship at this point and has left Victor behind. Victor, you get really, really cold. Roll power. <laughs> oh, also, also, uh, Alyssa, roll power before we pad ever. All right, power. You're fine. Victor, on the other hand, you your move rate is now five. Instead of nine.
and you get really, really cold, and you feel like this is now the time to get to the spaceship. Oh, yeah. Roll Dex. And I will say anything. Yeah. I was, I was, I was going to say something, but yeah, you avoid the car. The car is moving really, really slow. And you avoid not just one, but three claws. Roll power. To see how fast you get away. Yeah, that, you can spend 20, let's see, it's not 20, it's 18 point to make that, to make that a hard success. Um... How many? 18? Yeah. Sure. Fuck it. Let's do it. Nice. So you get back to the ship. No problem. And we are going to pad over to Alyssa. <laughs> I think awesome. I get there and it's like, yeah. you, you, you see the doc these, ready to go? <laughs> you see these two fast moving, moving dot, dots get off map, and you see all the other dots slow significantly. Okay. Um, I'm going to set up my emergency beacon, uh, and my fusion generator <laughs> to try to generate some heat and alert everybody that I've been here. <laughs> um, and probably the laptop to help generate some heat as well. <laughs> okay. Um, I also have a life support unit. I'm not sure if that includes thermal regulation or if it's just uh, just breathing and functions like that. <laughs> we are. Alyssa we came are prepared. Going to, <laughs> we are not going to head over to Harold. Harold. Harold's device starts bleeping really loud and he's like oh good you're here let's go sure you and the doc ready the doc's not here let's go um and his pad is bleeping really 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 loud currently uh what's what's that what, what's the beeping bud what, what's that mean oh it's a distress beacon. I don't know why there would be a distress beacon here. Right. It's. I think I'm um, kind of looking out still, um, just in case any surprise lizard people show up. I've got. I've just got both guns pointed at like the hallway. Roll spot in this conversation. Oof. No, you don't see anything. You don't see any lizard people at all? <laughs> Roll listen. Roll listen. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you can spend four. Sure. Sure. Let's go into single digit luck. <laughs> awesome. It's the worst that could happen. <laughs> so you hear you you hear some scuffling but it's really slow scuffling and you also hear over over the intercom what do you say uh Alyssa? um so uh, yeah as soon as she has the chance now that she's got her uh you know fusion generator set up to, gen to you know make some heat and everything and uh, her emergency beacon on. She's looking on the what intercom. What do you say over the emergency beacon? Um, I think the emergency beacon's just a a, a beacon. Um, I don't. If if it can transmit a message, it would be something like, um, "I've I've taken care of the threat. Send evac." Um, you. But over you the intercom, well, this is going to be like, uh, so. I think I took care of the lizard people. Uh, come get me. I am I am injured. 
Victor, you hear this? Um. What what are we doing about that boss? It's I definitely still hear scuffling. So, the lizard folks are a coming. We are outnumbered and out met and outgunned. We need to get out of here. If the doctor is so, not here, we need to leave her. So, like, we come back for her? No. <laughs> Coldly. Jeez. Oh. Cool. Do we have so, any? Uh... Do we have any like thermal gear loaded up to go get to her? If you want to go get the doctor, you have five minutes. I mean, and I will go. Uh, let's see, timer. And he will point to. Yeah, I will start the timer. Five minutes. He will. He will say you've got five minutes. Oh. Uh, can I hear any of this over and... the intercom? By the way. <laughs> nope. Okay. Is, nope. She, is there any way Alyssa he will can point, hack he will in point to the to the to the gear, and he will say. If you want to get go get her, you can go get her. I will, I will leave in five minutes. I mean, I didn't say I want to go back there. That's I feel like you're putting words in my mouth there. Um, what if what if we give her five minutes to get here? That's still plan. Even better. Oh oh, I got an idea. Um, while well, you got the timer going, it's can I? Oh, damn it! It's. I know out of character this won't work, but I'm going to try and go over to the person that's been both sedated and mind wiped to try and wake them up and Shanghai them into going to rescue the doctor. <laughs> you can certainly try. You can certainly try. <laughs> Say, hey, oh my gosh. that person that saved your life, we need you to go get them real quick. <laughs> um, uh, so... what, is, what is the best waking up skill? <laughs> um... <laughs> um, roll... Roll medicine. <laughs> they're, they're basically doped up on medicine, morphine, so... Nope, I'm not trained in medicine, so... 1% chance. <laughs> Did it work? They're basically drugged up with something akin to morphine, so they're gonna be pretty out of oh, it. No! Nope. So close! It's if close. I had this, I my luck already! <laughs> If it wasn't How much luck do you have left? Seven. <laughs> Just seven. <laughs> I will let you spend seven luck and however much and however much sanity it takes to make that a success. So, sure. so seven. sixteen minus one is fifteen. Fifteen minus seven. So zero luck. So you can spend eight seven. sanity. You can spend eight sanity sure. to make that success, but you are doomed. <laughs> what does that? I don't know what that means mechanically, but sanity it's rolls are any sanity loss is doubled, any damage is doubled. <laughs> well, that sucks, but it happened. <laughs> I went for that. Let's let's wake up this <gasps> oh my gosh. Up, washed person and send them out. <laughs> you wake him up, but he's still handcuffed. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> hey. Hey, wake up! It's you know that nice doctor lady that the one that woke you up. It's or that you stabbed. The shadows, the shadows, ah, the shadows. Yeah, no, it's pretty bright out, bud. No shadows. <laughs> you here? What? It's if I uncuff you, what? You're gonna go get that doctor lady for us and bring her right back here. <laughs> Roll <and> street wise. <laughs> About this time, I think Alyssa is probably gonna be like, um, hello. I said I took care of the lizards. Are is anybody are you hearing calling, me? Are you calling Harold or Victor? Both. <laughs> I, I'm doing... Oh my god. I'm setting up a conference call. Victor, you hear you hear your phone ping. Harold declines. <laughs> you... Alyssa, you see Harold decline. That's... I'll, I'll... I'll put her on speaker. <laughs> um, Victor, what's going on? Why are, uh, I, I've turned the temperature down in the ship. The lizard people are all slowing down and just not even moving now. 
Um, right, so here's the thing. There's still... Alyssa, roll. Uh, what what is what would it be? Science biology. Actually, you have that skill. I do. Not that it Ooh, matters. You can you can spend ten points, or I think it's ten. No, it's twelve. 13, no, I'm good. Thirteen points. I'm good. <laughs> Thirteen points to make that a success. Okay, you 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 just see on the map they're not moving. You don't know why. It's like yeah, I, I have her on I have her on conference call now, or I put her on speaker. I'm yeah, sorry. so yeah, so those those lizard people are still moving out there, and it's all the cold did was make it really hard to get to you right now. But it's I'm I'm recru I'm sending I'm sending a new recruit. So I'm in the in the process of it, but Harold's leaving within like four and a half minutes, so maybe don't wait. Well, the timer right. just went off. Oh, Give the timer just went off? <laughs> that... Yeah! Yeah, the timer just went off, but let's, you convince Harold otherwise. Were there... <laughs> just he's, for fun. He's starting up the engines right now. Were there uh, any immediate consequences to that critical fumble on my streetwise? Oh yeah, you believe him. You 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 don't you don't think he's crazy at all. If you want to um, uncuff him, I mean he's recuperated enough for this task, so it's worst case scenario he gets stuck with the lizard people. So yeah, it's Harold. Just, Harold, uh, give me the cuffs. Give me the key. I just hopped on the computer to try to initiate docking clamps <laughs> on the ship. Roll I love it. I Roll. did. <laughs> Forty nine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the the engines start up, but you're not moving, <laughs> and you just see, and you just hear a scream of cussing from Harold. You also hear one from Alyssa calling him things that uh, I won't repeat in polite company. <laughs> Harold, Harold, look, give, me, give me the handcuff keys. I got the problem solved. <laughs> we need to solve a different problem. We can, we can't undock. No, it's this yeah, gee, Harold, I wonder why. <laughs> Aly 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 Alyssa, we are sending... Harold will back. roll listen to see if he hears you. <laughs> Let's see, where's listen? Listen is not one of his skills, is it? <laughs> no. Victor, t take the phone over to Harold. I have some things to say to him. Harold will roll listen, <laughs> and yeah, he will spend the luck to succeed and hear... And Doctor, if you can hear me, I need to, we need to leave. These lizard people are not going to leave us alone. I'm sorry you got stuck, but we need to leave. Oh, do you? Okay. The I'll asset get right on has that. been retrieved. Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. Um, oh, darn, it looks like the docking clamps are stuck. Oh, I'm really sorry you're stuck out there. Guess you should probably find somebody that could take care of that for you. Hey, I know this one doctor that's currently stuck in the control room. Hmm. Oh, is that where you win? If you said guess... Sorry, go ahead. I guess we'll have to go there. So unprofessional. Oh, don't worry. This is all going in my report. <laughs> so Harold does not uncuff the crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> the one good call you've made today, Harold. Good Harold job. Is, actually, Harold failed his streetwise role. Harold is absolutely going to uncuff the, the crazy person. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> because Victor said so. Yeah. Um, while I'm waiting for them, I would like to patch myself up a little bit more. Yeah, you can roll medicine. Extreme yes. success, you, he you heal six points. Awesome. I mean, Doc, if the lizard people buy you... Can you, spend, you can spend one point to heal fully. I, I don't think you need to, though. Uh, I think I'm that, okay. That puts you at 10 out of 11. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. Um, and, 
while Harold is uncuffing the crazy person, can I step aside a little bit out of ear range of them and just on my phone say, "Okay, Doc, we're we're gonna we're gonna release that 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 nutcase, the one that stabbed you. We're gonna release them. Lizard people will go after him. Then that's your when I tell you he's in there. That's your cue to run to the ship. That's your best bet." That sounds like a terrible idea. I'm not Carol sure. Why. It sounds just great. Uncuffed him. Wait, okay, now, Doc, said, now. <laughs> and now. And now Harold is wrestling with him because <laughs> the, the crazy person has started attacking him. Uh, okay. Um, and that's a failure. Yeah, Harold gets hit with, uh, well, let's... We, let's we did with. take the knife away from him, right? Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. So that's, so that's uh, yeah. No. He does the crazy person doesn't hit him. And Harold strikes back. And Harold Listen, yeah. Victor, I hear I hear struggling for, in there. Are you uh, okay? Yeah, Harold knocked him out. Cause he he did not have very much help. Oh um, yeah. We took we took out we took we just took out a couple of lizard people. It's it's all clear, Doc. Just go ahead and run. And I I lie. <laughs> you said that the, the lizard like people liar. are still moving around. Victor, okay. Victor, roll roll streetwise and Alyssa also roll streetwise. I don't have that as a skill. Um, it is default is. I think default 10. is 10. 10%. Yeah, you believe okay. him. All right. Um, that's good. Uh, but you said they were still moving around? They're not affected at all by the cold. They're you, they're slow. You can see clearly on the map that they're not moving. Yes, I know. Alyssa can see on the map that they're not moving. She wants uh, to verify that information, so it's, she's asking Victor. It's. I mean, when I was list, when I listened a little bit ago, I still heard scuffling. So either they're still moving, or there's some other problem. Uh, uh, Victor, right. you can roll. Spot hidden? Again? Sure. During this conversation? Yeah, you can see that they're still moving, but they're moving just barely. They, they, it's like they're, they're statues that are just standing still, but ever so slightly moving every now and again um. and coming towards you. Yes, they're very slowly, slowly coming towards us. Um, oh, okay. It sounds you know like what? it did work then. You know what, Harold? Is there a reason we're not just shooting them right now? Because we don't have enough bullets for all of them. But, like, we've got enough for some, right? <laughs> you have my gun. In fact, yeah. you have both of my guns. Good point. And I, I start shooting. <laughs> you, have, you have a total of... I've not been counting, but we'll just say, we'll just say you have a total of six and four. So you have a total of 10 rounds left from the third, from the third gun and your two other guns. Um, I will, so I, I think, will... go ahead, sorry. Roll damage for all of them. Okay. You're, you're not rolling to hit them, you're rolling to damage. Okay, so I will just, I'll do the thing. While uh, the gunshots are going off, Alyssa's going to start. Um, Three, I want to start venting the oxygen out of the ship. Four, five, and six, and seven. Seven. We need. Okay. Yeah. One more. So you take out one, two. That's that's two so far. Roll three more times. 
Okay, and it's I'll just if I've still got the dock on speaker, I'll just say, I'm I'm shooting as many as I can while they're still slow for you, but we're running out of bullets here. Three more times. It's one. Any time's a good time to run. So <laughs> that's 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 three damage. So you so you barely damage another one. Okay, so as soon as the... And Harold bullets... at this point... Harold at this point, I'm going to roll Dex and Power. Dex first, and wrong button, Power. And Harold is moving in the direction... Harold is right outside the... Harold is right outside the computer room right now. Okay, um... Well, one of the things and I wanted to do... He's going to knock on the... He's going to knock on the door. And also okay. call you. Okay. So, uh, one of the things I was wanting to do before all that happened um, is start venting the oxygen out of the, the vessel. Uh, because Which I vessel? have the freighter, the derelict. Nice. Uh, so I'd like to do that because I have a life support system, so I'm going to use that, and once that's initiated, I'm going to start moving out of the control room over towards the ship. Roll computer operation. Okay. And also science biology. Hmm. Nope. You, you put, you put the... Respirator on, but you do not. But you're denied access to the life support systems. Okay, then I will just head towards the uh, the ship. You step out of the computer room and into Harold. Okay. <laughs> like, hi, like, Harold. About time. Why? In the world, would you dock us? Because you were going to leave without me, you murderous bastard. <laughs> we have acquired the object. There's... Good for you. <laughs> I would like to live. Well, if you would like to live, let's get to the ship. That sounds great. After you. <laughs> and you, and you, because of your science biology role, you'll notice that the that the ship is getting warmer now. Okay. <laughs> so uh, roll power, roll dexterity first, and then power. Okay. Ooh, nice. You can add a point to dexterity. You do nice. not trip, but you do not run very fast because you are very cold. <laughs> Question. Did did Harold keep the box with him? The box is on the ship in the cockpit. Do is there anything relatively similarly box sized that I could replace that box with and take the box? <laughs> oh my god. You can roll street wise and sleight of hand. <laughs> this will have this will have complications later on. Nope. Nope. You oh fail. God. <laughs> Thank you. Be roll right 20. Back. Good. Thank you, roll Good. 20. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you, roll 20. Oh my the, gosh. The diamonds will have to do for this trip. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I take it that would have been bad. <laughs> You'll find out when once you do the outro. Okay. <laughs> so now on the on the ship it's me, <laughs> the guy that we re knocked out. <laughs> Did Harold re handcuff him before he left? Uh no. But the handcuffs are right there if you want to handcuff them. I, I, I'm not even going to make you roll for it. 
I, I will busy myself with that while I'm waiting for the. And beginning. also roll spot hidden. Yes. I w that's that's good because the next thing I was going to ask is if I saw the kitty hanging around. <laughs> so you not only see the kitty, you you see, the kitty is sleeping. First of all. Second of all, you can see that the lizard people are moving not as slowly. They are still moving really slowly, but they are not moving as slowly at this moment. I will. I will look for a good, I will look for a good place on the ship to hide. Uh, that would be search. And streetwise, search first. Yeah, sure. You find the place. Oh, my streetwise is killing me now. <laughs> but you do, you do not hide very well. You find a great spot to hide, but you do not hide very well. Nope. You're still carrying the crazy guy. <laughs> I thought I handcuffed him. Yeah. To like something on the ship, right? Not myself. <laughs> Was he handcuffed to Harry? Where do I say with that streetwise roll that you handcuffed him to yourself? Really? <laughs> he wasn't handcuffed to Harold before, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think that. I don't think you. Well, I don't know what to do with that streetwise. <laughs> I don't know what to do. How do you find a place to hide but not hide very well? Um. You're shaking and you're cursing, I guess. <laughs> maybe maybe I find a nice good compartment to hide in, but then the cat wakes up, jumps over and takes it. And I'm just swearing at the cat. Yeah. So the cat is protected and hidden. <laughs> you're hiding with the cat, but you're <laughs> You're you're not very quiet. You find a good place to hide, but you're not very quiet. Let's let's just put it that way. Yeah, I don't actually have any stealth or anything either. So we're just waiting on Raven to get back. Yeah, and I think that's what Victor is doing. It's like trying to like stand just out of view of the main door, and then just like assessing that he can't do anything with the box, just like flipping around with back. things like just messing with knobs <laughs> awesome so what was the role that you rolled recently let's see yeah you you're not moving very fast but you did but you do move in that direction and let's see let's see how Harold does oh wait first first Harold's going to roll something yeah okay and then he throws you over his shoulder, but he does not. He, he he is moving quite fast, but he is like not very graceful at all. <laughs> so you are you are currently over Harold's shoulder, and you are racing towards the ship. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm back now. Uh, am am I still running towards the ship, or did I miss anything? Okay, you g just got thrown over Harold's shoulder, <laughs> and Harold is not moving very gracefully towards the ship, but he has you over his shoulder, and he's moving very fast. Can I do a thing? <laughs> yes, you can always uh, do a thing. Am I over his shoulder facing behind him? Yeah. And... I, I would like to reach into my bag and grab a syringe of epinephrine and inject him in the butt. <laughs> awesome. I would, draw, I would like you to roll medicine. Well, but spot him first. Spot him first. Okay. Spot him first. Ah, you, you see that these... Lizard people are moving not slowly anymore. Okay. And you can roll medicine to... 
Ooh, uh, I'll Ouch. spend the ten points. Yeah. You 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 inject him in the butt, and he gets even faster towards the ship. <laughs> And he's like, ow! What did you do? I gave you a little adrenaline. Well, at least that's helpful. <laughs> yes, now get us to the ship. And you get to the ship. And you survive. Yay! <laughs> I would not, I would like you to roll computer operation to undock. I was gonna say, when you guys got back, did either of you actually bother to undock the ship? Yay! You success. undock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were going to undock whether you succeeded or not because you could use sanity. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yes, but I'm Yay. going to keep. You needed to use sanity. No, no, you want you undock and you leave. And well, I would like you both to roll sanity. Okay. And Harold is going to roll sanity. Yes. I forget. Do I have to roll it? That's a fumble. I think. You sure that's? Yeah, that's is... a, that, that's a fumble. I'm going to... Oh yeah. I think it's a fumble, isn't it? Don't know. Fumble is... Wow. Yeah, that, that's... I don't know why it's saying it's not a fumble. That is definitely a fumble. What you say That you only been with Okay, investigator collapses unconscious for one day three hours. <laughs> okay, Victor. Victor, you know how to fly this thing, right? When that yeah. effort wears off, <laughs> collapses unconscious. Dash R one D six. Plus four on top of that. So Harold loses six sanity, and you roll on the fumble table, and you roll 1d6 plus four as well. The fumble table for 80? Yeah. So that's a roll of 1d100? Right. Roll 1d100, and also a d6 plus four. Did you say that since I have no luck left, does that get doubled as well? Yes. Okay. Oof. 1d6 plus 4. Yep. Uh, Let me pull up Harold's sheet. How much sanity does Harold lose? So I lose 12. 12 sanity. Okay. And roll 1d10 Yikes. for power. <laughs> so you lose 2 power. Dash. Uh, that is 45 minus 6, 39, it's currently at 39 sanity, and you can see why he was taking drugs when you first met him. <laughs> nice. But yes, you lose 2 power. Uh, was that from that 70 I rolled, or is that its own thing? That was... That's that's from the D10. You okay. lose one D10 power, which is doubled. Mm -hmm. So you lost two power. Um, so is Harold unconscious at this point? Oh, Harold is very much unconscious. Um, In fact, I'm going to roll the one D3. And are there? That's two hours. And are there handcuffs about? Yes, there are. There's currently would... used handcuffs. 
I would like to handcuff Harold to something immovable on the ship. Nice. Nice. Wait, are and we... remove any keys he might have to set handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> nice! I approve. <laughs> I am gonna step in at that, because, like, don't we need him to fly this thing? Uh, well, he's unconscious. Um... Right. But presumably he'll wake up. So if you're going to handcuff him, I would at least handcuff him near the steering wheel. Unless I roll computer operation. Okay. <sighs> no. Nope. <laughs> well, I so, mean... out of character knowledge, you know you this ship is on autopilot. In character, you don't know that. Right. I was about to say... I imagine it probably has some sort of autopilot. Maybe? I, I don't know. I'm also trained in computer operation, so I could check to see yeah. if I know anything about it. Yeah. Yeah, you yes. know that this is... That the, you look on the console and you see that this is on autopilot. Oh, okay. It's we're going to, going to your employers. Uh, we're on autopilot. Ignore me. Oh, perfect. Well, then well, that works out well, because I'm making a citizen's arrest on uh, Mr. Harold here. And so. this is how Harold earned his demotion. <laughs> yeah, either they'll, they'll address the issue that he tried to, to leave me to die, or at the very least, this will look very embarrassing for him. Right. I'd, I would check your contract, too, to make sure there was no... Because I feel like they might have put some claws in there. That could be tricky. We should probably... Who are we working for, exactly? Do you know? <laughs> you know, and, and all the, the hustle and the bustle, I can't even remember who it was that hired us. <laughs> yeah, it's, we should probably look into those contracts. We may need to unionize in the future to avoid <laughs> leaving to die clauses. Yes, I agree. Um, Roll administration. Do I think you have administration? I don't. Not, <laughs> not trained, no. It's not on my sheet either. So administration is... Default is... 10. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Nope. It was close. It was close. I do... Actually, you know what? <laughs> I'll spend the points. Are you going to spe spend the points? Are you going to spend the eight points? Uh, yeah, I can spend uh, seven to make it a success. No, you have to spend eight to make it below a ten. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. You would... You would know, because of that administration call, who hired you. So, I have to make a name now. <laughs> I have a name. It's a good name, too. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> yeah. Tell us. Uh, do I spot anything about, you know, leaving to die clauses? <laughs> You see in the contract that as long as the as long as the asset and all people hired are safe and sound that you get paid. Oh good. However, however there are tons and tons and tons of Disclaimers that they are not responsible if you die. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, I feel like this is... Um, Alyssa's pointing this out. I feel like this is a, a pretty strong case that um, he definitely should not have tried to leave me to die. I mean, policy-wise. Ethically, he definitely should not have left me to die. But policy-wise, I, I think I'm still in the right here as well.
but do you have a name for the for your employees? Uh, oh yes, it's uh, it says here it is. Um, hmm. Uh, clandestine Imports, an Acme Corporation. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. This is Clinton. So you were hired by the Clandestine Imports and Acme Corporation. Of which Harold is a contractor. Perfect. So there and we go. We get paid, he gets in trouble. Everything's fine. And I got a cat! <laughs> She's gonna start petting the cat. Did you get the cat? I did, I kept the cat with me. <laughs> okay. It's uh it's actually in my inventory. <laughs> Are you going to name the cat? Um We're gonna name the cat. Um Uh, we're gonna name the cat Schrodinger. <laughs> nice. So, let's do the outro scene. All right. So, Alyssa, you you are you are going to insist on joining Harold? On joining what? With joining Harold when he does his report. Um, I mean, Harold's gonna be handcuffed to the inside of the ship and. Alyssa's going to report everything that happened <laughs> and say, he's handcuffed in there, you can go get him. <laughs> what, what, can, when we handcuffed Harold, can I have tried to steal his, his badge that I verified as real earlier? I feel like that would be handy. Yes, you can roll sleight of hand. <laughs> you can roll sleight of hand, I will love. What, even if Alyssa sees that, she's not going to say anything. Extreme again. <laughs> yeah, you can spend one point and add a point to that. I don't have any. Oh yeah, you don't have any luck. <laughs> ah. But yes, you steal his badge. Yeah. And Alyssa doesn't even see. Yep. So as you dock, they'll come out and ask for a report from Alyssa, not from Victor. <laughs> okay. Rude. Well, let's see. Um, try to be as concise as possible. We landed the ship. We docked. Um, Harold was very uh, abrupt, not very helpful, and his communication skills were, I would say, lacking. Uh, however, despite that, we made our way towards where this this package was. Uh, but there were these very unusually dressed people that were already on the ship um, who seemed to want to to murder us. Um, they were dressed like lizard people, uh, some sort of Halloween costume, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe they were on drugs. But regardless, we, we managed to escape them. Um, they seem to have already murdered a lot of the crew. Uh, there were there were dead bodies about, lots of them. Um, hmm. So, uh, we, we got split up for a little while. Uh, Harold and Victor managed to get the box and get back to, uh, the ship. And, um, then Harold decided that he would leave me to be killed by these lizard people to try to save his own skin, even though I was not that far away from the ship. I was locked Is in the Is Victor control adding room. anything to this at all? Oh, am I in the room? Yeah. I, I didn't know if we were, like, separated for interviews. I didn't know yeah. either. <laughs> um... No, I think I'll... I think I'm remaining pretty quiet. Unless, okay. I, unless I'm asked a direct question. Um, so yes, I, uh, I managed to slow them down by messing with the environmental controls, and that's when Harold tried to leave me to die. Uh, but I stopped the ship from be, uh, being able to leave so that I could get on it. And um, there, there was some running back and forth, dodging lizard people. I got back on the ship, 
Harold inexplicably passed out where I arrested him and handcuffed him to the inside of the ship where he is now. And I think that about summarizes everything. And they're going to ask you to gain a pad to verify all of this? Okay. Don't, for, don't forget about that crazy, the uh, crazy man who stabbed you. Oh yes, you there was plug. a crazy man that stabbed me, uh, just lightly. And, uh, yeah. I patched him up and we brought him along. <laughs> they're going to ask, they're going to specifically get the map data from, from your pad and okay. from Harold's pad to verify all of this. And it's... then turn to Victor and say, is all of this true? Uh, yeah, for the most part. It's, um, if you want, it's, I've got the old, I've got the crappy map, the, un, the incorrect intelligence that we went in with saved on mine if you need something to compare it to, since we started off a bit, uh, not on the they, best, but. They will absolutely download that too. Um, yes, it's, I don't think those people were in costumes. There was a lot of goo on the wall, not just blood. But that's that's the only that's my only additional contribution. Nice, nice. Oh yes, so, I don't think I saw that. I was distracted when you were talking about the goo. Right. I also shot a lot of them, so I I saw it coming out of them. <laughs> right. You would you would we... saw that that the blood coming out of them is blue and not matching the goo. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's weird. <laughs> so it's so they had blue blood. I saw that. Also, there's goo somewhere. Not sure what that's about. Yes, I I, I think the um, there, there's something very wrong with that that ship. I would probably just quarantine the whole area or blow it up or whatever it is you, that you do with those things. Um, but we'd like to be paid now. They pay you, and then they take her off, off on on his own. Oh, that was an adventure. Yes. And as we fade to black, we we will we will see what they do with Harold. Harold, this this report does not look very favorable on you, but we still got the item. And we have so and we have our partners over at over at uh what's what's the name of Gideon's place? Oh, I don't know if we ever named Gideon's place. Yeah. <laughs> now we need to come up with names now. Um It's the hardest part of doing these things. Like, what do I name this thing? Yeah. Now, what was what was the name of the place that something, we came up for Harold's place? Maybe, maybe something. Acme. Like oh, uh, clandestine imports, an Acme Corporation. I think Gideon's is something like dumb and trendy and like one word name, like <laughs> and just like vigilant or something like that. So, vig vig if I could talk right now, Vigisil, Vi Vigitel Incorporated, <laughs> Vigitel Incorporated, I like it. We have, we have partners over at Vegetel Incorporated and they have a precog that's going on vacation. We would like you to also go on vacation. An extended vacation. Oh. Back to home office. Harold sighs, rolls his eyes. Am I being demoted? Why, yes, yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you for asking. You are absolutely being demoted. And you are also having sensitivity training 
before you go on this cruise. <laughs> oh yes, you are going on a cruise. Oh, at least it's going to be easy. Yes! <laughs> it's going to be very easy. All you have to do is protect Gideon Zale. We'll have the box that you recovered. And then Lucy shows up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. And that answers certain questions and raises a lot of others. Yes, it does indeed. Oh man, you're welcome. I, re I really wish Victor had been able to switch out the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because if Victor had switched out the boxes, that would have had implications. <laughs> I do have a plan for that. I didn't expect you to do that. Oh, that's I did not funny. expect. Yeah, I have a plan for if you succeed. <laughs> I I do have a plan. It's not a good one. It's a plan. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, that was great. Um, was there was there anything else? No, because I did not plan this to go very long. No worries. <laughs> so, just want to make sure it was all, uh, that was everything before I jumped in. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't plan more. Oh no, that was perfect. Perfect oh, amount of time. Um, and yeah, that definitely answers a lot of questions and and raises even more. Uh, so that was fantastic. Thank you for putting that together and, and running this one shot, the spooky one for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to make it spooky. Did I make it spooky? It, that yeah. was pretty darn scared, especially when it's like, oh, I am almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't fight things in Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> yeah. I'm suspicious of the cat still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still suspicious of the cat. It, it's the secret mastermind. Um, but no, that was fantastic. Thank you for doing that. And um, let's let's go around and... Yeah, I had plans for the cat. But I did not feel like after Harold was so mean, that it would be <laughs> nice to do that as well. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Um, well, yes, yes. Uh, Doctor Elisa now has a new lizard person. I, yeah. Great. <laughs> I did not. I did not put that on screen because <laughs> I felt that would be too mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. So you, so you, the character, so you, the player, know the character does not. Okay. Well, with that, let's do our uh, our closing stuff here. Uh, Gwen, what yeah, was your favorite part of the... Yeah, that one lizard person was smart. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite part of the session? And then um, tell us a little bit about what you do and, and where we can find you. So my favorite part of the session was... Get, was when the pad actually got the updated information okay now i want to explain to you what was going on there they were not there until the pad updated because of portals they fruit looped in oh the glowing fruit loop yeah you did not roll spot in enough <laughs> ah, okay you, you were actually not in the right place for that had you been in the right place for that, you would have seen. Yes, but you you were in the computer room at that point. Mm -hmm. You did not see what I was expecting was you for you to argue in in the place before the computer room for another five or ten minutes. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Very cool. I'll, and uh, tell us I, that I what... forgot. <laughs> Well, tell us a little bit about you and, and uh, what you do, where we can find you. So, you can find me. We're doing that thing tomorrow, right? Like, yes, we are. 
Yay! Yay! We can do. We're doing Nightbringer tomorrow. Um, yeah. yeah, you can. You can find me there. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at my Twitter handle Potato Hound. Uh, yeah, this is. This was great. I I did awesome. almost everything I wanted to do, except for the things that I was told not to do. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um. And then, uh, Patrick, what was your favorite part? And uh, tell us a little bit about what you do and where we can find you. I don't. I think my favorite part is torn between us just deliberately trying to upset Harold at the beginning. <laughs> that was just so great. To see how long we can take that? And then also playing like uh, I don't usually play like sneaky rogue types. So just like. Oh no, that thing went missing. Where did it go? That was that was, <laughs> that was fun to do for a while. I haven't done that before. Oh, that's but, fantastic. Yeah, Victor is leaving with a big pack of diamonds and a f and uh, a oh, good this is leaving with a lizard person. Yeah, yep. and it's a good cover as Harold <laughs> to use his badge. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. And you wonder why Harold doesn't have his badge <laughs> but, anymore. So it, I'm I'm a tactric. You can catch me on Twitter at that. Yeah, thing. you also got him fired from the police force. So congratulations. Oh wow. great. I just assumed they had replacements. Victor didn't think of that. That's really funny. No, the report was that bad. <laughs> nice. Uh, so you're saying Which, where we can find you? It was always going to be that bad. That was the plan from the beginning. Was for it to be that bad that he got fired. From the police force and demoted at his other job. Poor Harold. <laughs> no, oh, not man. poor Harold. He was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Uh, so where, where can we find you next, uh, Patrick? Uh, you can catch me next um, tomorrow night. Here, at, uh, I'll also be on Lightbringer tomorrow night. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's then you could catch me besides here every Thursday night. Thursday mornings at noon Eastern, you can catch me on the Greyhawk channel playing on From Beyond Orth, which is our Greyhawk Star Jammer crossover. Awesome. Yay. Fantastic. I think um I think my favorite part was probably Alyssa being uh like when I got those those really bad rolls at the beginning. So basically there's all this stuff going around and Alyssa's just too absorbed and looking at this cat. cat to notice anything <laughs> going on. <laughs> um, that I think it was my favorite part, uh, just because it was so silly and and really funny. Um, but the whole thing was really great. I had a lot of fun. Um, and uh, as for where you can find me here, obviously, um, so we do Black Feather Guild shows, uh, which is our our tabletop RPG shows. Uh, let's see. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, Wednesday, uh, I do a uh, another character on a different channel. Um, I'm also going to be on uh, Tales Off the Table starting um, this coming Tuesday at noon Mountain Time, where I'll be playing a character there for uh, uh, for one of their games. Um, and Sundays. Uh, when we have the time and energy, my friend Ron and I do a show here called uh, R&R Streaming where we play video games and just chat uh, very Game Grum style and just kind of have fun hanging out with folks. Um, anyways, uh, there's there's times in the panel down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, which is just that name right below my face. Uh, and that's where I post all my updates on everything. Um, but yeah, for as far as next time, uh, we'll be here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, to do a the the first of a one shot series, sort of a mini series called Lightbringer Descent, um, which will be a prequel for a campaign that's going to start in season three uh, on the channel, which begins in January. Um, but it is going to be an epic, um, and I mean that in the literary sense. Um, big world, big story, big stuff going on. Um, very much so. Uh, if I had to compare it to an existing story, it would be if you were to take like Mass Effect and Star Trek and Destiny and blend them all together into something new. Uh, it's a little bit like that. So it's uh, kind of give you an idea of the genre and some of the story elements. 
Um, anyways, it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, that'll be tomorrow at 7. Uh, but for now, we're going to do a quick raid. We're going to go raid Little Cup of Joe. Um, looks like she's doing a Halloween stream playing some sort of witch-inspired game. Um, so it just started. If you're not already following her, definitely give her a follow um, and uh, and say hi. And then we'll do a raid call of what's in the box. Uh, like that right there. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you everybody for playing. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.